Good evening. Tonight, uh, big special things are in my hands here. There are papers. This paper contains a list of parts that I would recommend for a mid-grade system. Gaming system? Yes. Workstation system? <laughs> Who knows? I'm going to give you guys an Intel and an AMD option for a mid-grade $700, $800 rig. Somewhere in there. Right? So actually, it's between $700 and $900, depending on the options you go with. Uh, now, this video is for the people in the U.S. of A. I'm using USA parts, not parts made in the U.S.A. because nothing ain't made in no U.S.A. Hey, Mom, we're out of... We got none of two things. We are at Walmart the other day, like, don't ask why. God, that's the first... I hate that place. We're in there, and this kid in Kentucky just walks by, and, like... I guess they're talking about about um, Halloween. Halloween. And the kid goes, Mom, we ain't got none of two things. We ain't got no butcher knives, and we ain't got no coveralls. America! <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! All right, so let's get down... Let's build our American system, shall we? Now, the Intel option, I'm going to recommend the i5-3570K or a 2500K because I've, I saw one of those on sale this week for 169 bucks. If you see that, you freaking buy it now. You just don't even, like, send me an email because by the time you send me an email saying, should I buy this, it's going to be sold out. So the 2500K is my favorite CPU uh, in this price range. Because it's really fast, very overclockable. I do like it better than the 3570K, but if the 3570K is cheaper wherever you're shopping or similarly priced, you can pick one of those up as well. They're both very, very good CPUs, similar, um, similar in performance. And if you're not overclocking and you're doing like productivity and video editing, the 3570K may in fact be a better option. So check that out. For the motherboard, the ASUS P8Z77-V LK. And um, that's a G77 motherboard. It's loaded. It's got everything you need. Um, and in that price range, around 139 bucks, uh, you're going to get a lot of motherboard with it. Of course, if you want to spend more money, you can get a you know a lot more out of it. But you won't get much more speed if you spend more money. It's got DigiVRM. It's an ASUS, so it's nice. Now for the AMD option, I'm loving the FX6300 that just came out, and I'm also loving the FX4300 that just came out because the price they're just a little over 100 bucks. So for just a little over 100 bucks, you're getting a lot of speed. And when you compare it to like the i5, in a lot of games, it's only like five to seven frames per second slower. So for about half the price, you're getting a hell of a CPU there. I like it better than the 1100T, and I recommend that one a lot. So check out the AMD FX6300. It's 3.5 gigahertz. It's a six-core CPU. Um, the 4300 is a quad-core CPU. But if you're just gaming, either one of those are going to be great for you. Um, for the motherboard, we're going to grab the MSI 970A uh, G46, and that's an AM3 Plus motherboard. Um, one thing I want to note here is that it does not have a USB 3 front panel header, uh, but it is loaded. You've got six SATA 6, six ports, and it runs 2133 megahertz. It's quite nice. Or, you know, if you want to get USB 3 on the front panel, you can spend a little bit more, but it's, it's you're spending a lot more just to get the front panel. I just use the back panel on mine, and I'm cool. I've got, a, I mean, I've got one on the front, of course, but. I've got a fancier uh, motherboard than what I'm recommending here. But anyway, you can get like an Asus uh, M5A990X, which is nice. Or you can get an ASRock 970 Extreme 4 um, motherboard. Both of those do give you the option to have, you know, the, the USB on the front panel. But they're quite a bit more expensive. So if you just want the speed and you want to keep the budget down, just go ahead and grab the MSI 970A uh, G46 motherboard. It's great. For the memory, I'm going to grab uh, G-Skill Rip Jaws X-Series. Uh, 16 gigabytes of that. That's two 8-gig sticks. It's uh, 1800 megahertz, and uh, cast latency is 9, so I really like that. Um, for the storage, we're going to grab a Kingston Hyper X3K. I recommend this one a lot. It's 120 gigabytes. It's freaking fast. I've got a lot of them around here. We've got, like, one, like, in... Like our shelf is, like, half full of these things. We've got some of the 240 gigabyte versions over there. I've got a 120... You know, I've got a 240 in my machine. It's fast. Wendell's got several 120s. Uh, I think he buys one for every intern that comes in, so... We've tried them a lot, and we haven't had any trouble with them, so I'm going to keep recommending them. They're just nice. If you want storage, you can send me an email, but I'm not recommending a storage drive for the system because a lot of us have them laying around. For the video card, Sapphire Radeon HD 7870 is on sale right now for $185. That's stupid because that card is so fast for that kind of money. You can't find a better price-performance ratio if you do. Well, I don't believe you. <laughs> just the end of it, I just don't believe you. I like that card quite a bit. For the case, uh, NZXT Tempest, you can get the 210 or the 410. Both of them are really good cases. And um, it's around 50 bucks, 55 bucks. Quite like it. It does have the USB on the front panel, so if you want to be able to hook that up, you're going to need to either 
buy an adapter and do some kind of ridiculous jerry rigging where you hook it up to the back why was jerry so bad at rigging things or whatever everyone's like what did he do wrong was he like out there like hooking wires up to his car and his i don't know he was eating glue he's eating glue and he's got jerry rigged yeah I don't, I don't know what he did to earn that title but jerry never let jerry build anything he just wires it anyway <laughs> you'll have to get one of those other motherboards that's more expensive if you want to take advantage of that or just use the back like i do one other thing that you can do, if you get the, the regular AMD motherboard that I mentioned, the MSI uh, 978G46, and uh, you don't want to have a dead USB 3 port, just go ahead and grab a Fractal Design Core 3000. That does not have any uh, USB 3 ports on the front, and that the case is awesome. Uh, I kind of like having the USB 3 on the front in case I ever want to you know, upgrade my system to a new motherboard. Then it's there and it's available. So either way you want to go, it's up to you. They're both cases that I think are awesome. For the power supply, NZXT Hale 82 in. Uh, 550 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply it's very important to get 80 plus and uh, this one has a single 12 volt rail uh, uses a lot of uh, similar parts to something you'd see in like a seasonic uh, also seasonic's a very good brand so if you see either one of those uh, the nzxt hail um, series is very nice so got no problems with those there's a lot of good power supplies out there mostly if it's 80 plus and uses good parts you can usually do a little bit of research and find out you know if it's using like japanese capacitors or if it's using using just like some crappy parts that are going to explode, don't put it in your system. It's that simple. All right, um, for the optical drive, light on IHAS I-2404. And, uh, yeah, have fun with that. Why don't you? So that's the system. I'm going to do the same thing for UK and the same thing for uh, for Deutschland. So if you see this video and you want to... I mean, you can see those other ones. I'm recommending a few different parts over there. So anything I say in any of these three videos is going to be good for a mid-grade system. And a lot of the parts are available in uh, America. Some of the parts are not available in the UK, and some of the parts are not available in Deutschland. In fact, Deutschland, it's hard to get a lot of different things. We ain't got none of two things in Deutschland. <laughs> Max, you look like you're from Deutschland over there with that jacket. All right, send me emails. Inbox at techsyndicate.com. Um, we're going to be making some more build videos, uh, this month, probably do like a really inexpensive one because, you know, the holidays are coming up and people want to start planning now to build stuff for the holidays for gifts. We might make, um, you know, like a cheap, like a really like a hundred or $200 system that you can give to your mama or your daddy or granny. Those pelvic thrusts behind the camera are really distracting. Um, and I may also make like a very low cost gaming PC or maybe an Uber gaming PC. Just let me know what you guys want. But the next... Uh, week or a few days we'll make some more videos and we're also going to build an ITX system this month we've got all the parts we're just waiting on a case we got a Lee and Lee case coming in and as soon as that Lee and Lee case gets here we're going to build uh, an i5 based um, system ITX system I may even put one of these in there yeah <laughs> I have no idea uh, so go suck a can of pop Soda, Coke, depending on what part of the country you're in. What did they call? They call it anything else? They call it fizzle bombs up in Canada. You, are you boys want a fizzle bomb, eh? I do not. All right, I call it. Keep that away from me. watching this, then I salute you. Goodbye.